they have been very good in his third season. Yes, they've got uh, all but one of their games they've won this year, and uh, I'm uh, looking forward to watching this uh, team play. Yeah, started out 7-0. Now the Gauchos are looking to quiet them. It's a Sunday matinee here. It's a Kalu team there. They're starting Jacob Alonzo. You gotta figure that he's going to be the focus this evening. Alonzo is a 5'8 guard who is so quick off the dribble. Yeah, and he'll be penetrating, and uh, the Gauchos are gonna have to keep him from penetrating. And there's a key to the game for the Gauchos is that they have to dominate the boards. Yeah, the size advantage, and Josh Pierre-Louis with a spin and a take to the hole. Pierre-Louis, so explosive. Uh, you gotta figure he's gonna be in for a big game as well. Well, we're bigger, this is a bigger team, the Gauchos are, and um, they should dominate the boards, but hey, I've seen some small teams that shoot it well and have uh, great games. Alonzo, they run the offense through him. He looks back door for Grandi. He gets it to fall. What a great pass. It was a very good pass, and it was a setup by a good rear screen on the weak side for that back cut. Sonny looking to get into a rhythm. He saw five players in double figures on Friday evening against Pepperdine for UC Santa Barbara. Man-to-man -man defense by uh, Cal Luther. And a turnover. Alonzo with three and a half steals a game. In addition to five assists per game, that's two in a row. Good shooting team. Even though they're small, that's what I kind of predicted that there would happen. They can shoot it. Team that loves to shoot that three ball. Santa Barbara has to defend the perimeter well. Luckily for the Gauchos, they're 18th in the country in defensive three-point percentage. Well, stopping the ball on the, against the break and then getting out to the three-point area to contest it is the key for the defense and then blocking them out and getting rebounds. Alonzo surveys, looks into the corner, three ball up. That was Mallory who couldn't hit. Screen on the ball by Amadou So, and they didn't use it. Pass inside to Norris, and they didn't use it. There's a wide open shot. Good ball movement by the Gauchos. They shared the ball and got a wide open shot. Ajari Sani gets in on the scoring action. Penetration by the, we'll call him the little guy. He's 5'8", 155, and he's exciting. He's quick as a cat. Alonzo draws so much attention. He's got five to shoot, uses his speed, can't kiss it home. Into the corner, Sonny fires another one. This one he can't hit. So far he's had three open shots. He's one for three from three points. Nice drive, very well contested by Norris. They look for Sonny again. Oh man, the 5'8 Alonzo with a block on Amnu So. From the weak side, he came in and took it away. Nice, clever play. Three ball for Mallory off mark. That's Larry Lewis on the bench. You can hear him saying to Calvin Wishart, more energy. Pierre Louis fired away, couldn't hit. Norris the rebound, but Alonzo takes it away. Very interesting about this team. The, the little guy, number one, he is Alonzo, and he stays and goes to the boards. He doesn't get back first on defense. Very different than most teams. Averaging just under five rebounds per game. You don't see that from a point guard most of the time, and frankly, from a guy that's 5'8". That's right, but he's got good hands, and, uh, and uh, a little abnormal. A little pressure by the Gauchos in the backcourt with uh, Alonzo handling the ball very quick. He gets by real easily and gets to the bucket. 
very quick off the dribble, but the Gauchos giving Kalu a taste of their own medicine. This Kalu Kingsman team known for their constant full court pressure. Now they're in a zone, in a 2-3 zone with uh, the big guy in there. Uh, number 11 trying to guard uh, the post guys that are 6'9 and 6'10. So it's a tough, tough matchup for him. And uh, I think it's Lewis who is in there now trying to guard the big guys. Now it's Dallas Johnson trying to guard the big guys. They're looking inside. There's only five to shoot. Torre holds one up. Idehan skies in, tips it out of bounds. It'll go back to the purple. Uh, uh, they're impressive as far as their movement. That zone, that time, they were staying behind the big guy, but really moving with the ball. Very well, uh, very good exercise on defense. Alonzo drives at the left hash, swings out. Here's Johnson, teardrop off the glass. Mason Johnson. We've got a couple of Johnsons out there right now. Now Mason Johnson, who just hit that shot, I spoke to him before the game, I said, how do you bounce back? What was Coach Russell White telling you guys to bounce back after the loss earlier this week to Chapman? And he said, well, you get punched in the mouth and you fire back. There's Anderson, the retaliation. Cole Anderson can shoot. We all know that he led the state of California in high school three-point shooting percentage. Anderson suffered a tough fall in Friday's game, and coach is happy to have him back. There he goes again, driving, and a tip-in. Nice wow. tip-in by Johnson. Dallas Johnson with the tip. He's there to take out the trash. Kalu back up top. Wisher coming off a 23-point performance. Anderson now takes heavy contact, finishes with the foul. That was a good read by Cole Anderson, freshman. He uh, drove the thing in, and the big guy was coming to block, and he read it. In other words, if the big guy that's blocking is in the air, you can make contact with him. He's not on the floor in a good guarding position. And he steps out of his comfort zone a little bit. I think that's the first time we've really seen him drive in traffic. He damn, oh man, nearly puts the, the, the bucket back. Missed free throw, which is kind of unusual for the shooter. Ide had another opportunity here. It's a foul on the ground prior to the shot. That was almost a two-hand dunk on the missed free throw. You're right, it was an explosive play by Robinson. There he is. He, he, he got those second chance opportunities. That's five offensive rebounds for the Gauchos already for the first seven minutes. Well, that's their advantage now. They have size. They should dominate the boards. Wisher kicks out. Anderson left alone. Three ball corner pocket couldn't hit. Wow. Nice rebound by Torrey. Seiko Torrey there to clean things up. Last time these two teams played, Torrey had eight rebounds, five assists. That was back in 2018. He was a freshman. Back nice door. Back cut. Nice oh, back Mason cut. Johnson able to finish Mason off the glass. Johnson. And that's one of the things a shorter team will do is they'll set screens and back cut against you, and you've got to talk and be real. Uh, explosive with your voice. Wisher splits the defenders, dumps off Nagel, it's tipped away. Johnson cross court. Here's Charlie Lee at the logo. And Nagel 6'9", trying to guard a small guy who's gonna try to penetrate. They switched it. Good penetration there, good, good penetration. Good pull up from Burridge, couldn't hit though. He was about 15 out. Yep. Now game with three offensive rebounds through just three minutes of play. And it should be a, a big day on the boards because they are bigger and uh, they should dominate the boards. Lewis swings left for Lee. Lee lets one fly from the left wing. 
They're looking inside for So, who hasn't been able to get much going today. A dump off, Norris, the flush! Now that's good ball movement by the Gauchos, and they got the, the shot they wanted, the inside shot. Very good possession by the Gauchos. And Josh Pierre-Louis so good at drawing attention. Good help there by Amadou So. So takes it away in the other direction. The Gauchos go off the glass with the foul. Count it and an opportunity for a three-point play. And, and that's where they have to pick it up. The Gauchos need to pick up their defense so that there's no good open shots for Cal Luther. Now, Calvin Wishard has yet to get in on the scoring action, but he did bring a little bit of energy when he entered that basketball game. I think this team feels very comfortable when number 10 is on the floor. I think so, and, and, I, and I think they're, because of the other night that uh, the opponents are going to respect him a little bit more, too, because he had a, a good first half in, in that last game against Pepperdine. Now, Wishard, he started the first four games of the season, and we asked him just a couple nights ago, what does it mean coming off the bench he said, well, coach put me on the bench because I'm a spark plug and I want to bring energy when I come into the basketball game. That's exactly what he does. He sure does. Oops, got his hands into him. You got to keep your hands out. Another one of the emphasis is by officials is where is the player's hands? Is he using them illegally? So you got to keep them out in plain sight so they can see them. Now, Coach, back in your heyday, you were on the rules committee for the NCAA. What was it like trying to get a new rule passed, going to those meetings, working on that action? Well, it, it, it was, you had to keep up on the data. In other words, just like with the vaccine, the data comes in, the science, you have to keep up with what's happening. So there's a lot of experimentation going on with the NCAA rules committee, three-point shot, the 30-second clock, and we were experimenting when I was on the rules committee, all of those things. Santa Barbara breaks the press easily. Pierre-Louis to the hole as he's fallen down, can't get it to go. Very contested shot, one that he can make, but very contested. Lee with the left hook. There's So for the rebound. Mitchell leaves it for Pierre-Louis. Good ball movement here for the Gauchos. Yeah, it is good ball movement. They get it for the weak side for the third time, and it's going to get an open shot. There it is. So puts it up and in as we have... Really active against this team, a smaller team. Santa Barbara winning the total rebounding battle. They've doubled the rebounds from the Kingsmen. Big reason why they have six offensive boards. That's, that's good foot position by Sonny there on defense to deny the drive. Martin, late in the possession, only five, three. Long three, Lee, wow. he drills it from the left. That was a, that was a throw. It, <laughs> it went in. Very nice shot from, from Cal Luther. Charlie Lee, what a, what a shot, holy mackerel. <laughs> Norris gets double teamed, so comes away with it. Yeah. And too much contact from Stanziano. That's the only thing he could do once he got the ball there and he had to foul him. A smaller defender on Amadou So, who's got a ton of muscle. It's either a free shot or a foul at that point. Yes, and uh, I think now they're bringing in a bigger player than uh, So, actually, a six foot 11 player. Feels relentless, the Yaakov. depth on this team. Yep, Yakiv. Uh, is playing now with Miles inside, with Miles Norris. Against this, well, that was an open shot, and he is capable of making it. Cole Anderson had that look. Here comes the Kingsman. The teardrop Ooh. can't get it to go. Kukic there for the rebound. Here come the Gauchos now on the other end.
Sonny double the corners are trapping it. Wide open, Norris, he throws it down. When you get trapped in the, on the corners, you have to have cutters cutting to the basket, and the Gauchos did at that time to get Norris that dunk. And every time there's a trap, there's always gotta be one guy open. Exactly. Alonzo with an easy take to the hoop, finishes with his left. Closing there and allowing, here's a press, trying to get their quickness involved, trying to get a turnover. That's their MO, the press, and, and it was it out is. of the break, and they do get that turnover. There Great it call, is. Coach. Yep. Sonny just made a bad decision and uh, threw it to uh, Yakov and they turned it over. Now another turnover, this time for the Gauchos as Norris barrels down the lane. Contact on the strip. A foul will go against Kalu. Uh, Stasiano whistled for a second. I'm not sure if he didn't get all ball, but it looked bad. You see, you can't come down from above and slap at the ball. You gotta come from the floor up. That's what, te that's what you teach the players, and then you don't get called for the foul. Anderson with five today. There he is. Kukic was wide open. He lost the basketball, couldn't handle the pass inside. Tried to catch it with one hand. You have to go with both hands to catch the ball. You can't just reach out. You gotta go with both hands. That was a good pass. He just didn't catch it. Nagel and Edehan now in. Now we did see this tandem on Friday night when UC Santa Barbara beat Pepperdine up 12. Now, Nagel and Idehan, they, they've come through the ranks together. They've grown together here at UCSB. Now you're seeing them on the floor much more frequently than we ever saw before. One of them has to guard an outside player, and of course that's Nagel, but also Robinson. Idehan found himself on the perimeter. Johnson penetrates a foul as he wasn't able to bank it home. Nice penetration though by Johnson. He's their leading scorer. He's uh, He's got a knack for one-on-one. -on -one. And he's big enough to, uh, you know, to do some damage on the drives. Told me earlier today, he said, you don't win championships without getting punched in the mouth. That's right. 6'3", 200, and uh, a good individual uh, player, no question. Johnson, just a tremendous overall player. They run the offense through him and Alonzo, it's no secret, but so much depth on this team, they're about 15 deep. Yes, they are, and, and uh, he plays them all. He lets them all get in. Nagel there for the rebound. He climbs the ladder to get the right hand on it. It's turned into a quick pace basketball game here. I'm trying to trap the post, too, and it's hard to trap the post if you're moving the ball. Good ball movement there. Nice play inside. Nagel wide open for three, splash. Nice ball movement by the Gauchos to get it to the open man. That's Jay Nagel's specialty. Alonzo loses his defender and rattles it home. Clever, crafty little player. I like him. Hard to find something that you couldn't like about this young man. Plays with a lot of heart. It's hard on his sleeve, really. Uh, now that's the part that is tough when you can penetrate on him and you're 6'4", like Mitchell is, and he's at a disadvantage at five foot eight. So you can't allow penetration or you gotta get help. That time he allowed penetration and no help. So Mitchell able to bully his way inside. Now is a chance at a three point play. That was a good play by Mitchell. He's, he's uh, smart to take him to the basket. Wow. Gaucho's now one of three on their free throws this evening. There's the clever little guy. Alonzo went up with the left. Mitchell got his hand on it. Looked like it was going on, uh, off of the Gauchos, but it hits Alonzo on the way down, and yep. here's Santa Barbara. It was a good drive by Alonzo, though. Mitchell, the 10-footer, he drills it. AJ Mitchell. He's gonna get a feel for shots and the offense. He's brand new as a freshman and he's getting a feel a little more every day he plays in it. A highly efficient player too, shooting 65 from the field. Yes, he's gonna be a good one. 
Johnson. Pierre Louis uses the speed, it's tipped away. Iday Hen muscles his way up and in. I was fortunate that the pass from Pierre Louis was uh, gotten back by the Gauchos. Good looking shot there. Oops. Just can't rattle it home. Wishart finds a wide open A.J. Mitchell. The tip from Nagel, Pierre-Louis goes up once, then twice and gets it to fall. Advantage on the boards, obviously. That was offensive rebound number eight in this one for the Gauchos already. Able to get some second chance opportunities. Good defense by Wishart that time on uh, Alonzo. Alonzo so speedy, the waterfall teardrop. Very nice. With the right hand that time. He's a problem. He's quick and he penetrates well. Nagel left all alone. Pierre Louis there for the putback and a kiss off the glass. Johnson. A little bit of a travel there. The, the jump stop was with a drag. When you drag your back foot, that's traveling. Mason Johnson getting in on the action. Looking to find his stroke. Boy, is he a good scorer. So capable with seven a day. High post to the low post. Bad pass by Pierre-Louis. He didn't read the defense. Johnson nearly gets it taken away. There's a three ball from Susco off the front iron. Zone, 2-3 zone, the two little guys on the top and the big guys across the baseline. Handoff for Nagel up and under, couldn't finish, oh my goodness! Gracious Robinson, he dayhead! Climbs nice. the ladder, finishes with the left, what an explosive play! Timing, it's all about timing, he timed that perfectly. Double team with the ball, but a good pass off for a layup. Great feed and Johnson up to nine. Alonzo is giving them nothing but trouble. He's really tough to guard at the end of the season. Mitchell at 70 right now, but he hits on a pair. It's very consistent. Miles Norris was thinking they were in full court pressure. They're not. That's a 15-footer, he drains it home. Good right shot over. from Mallory. That's getting open on three passes is very unusual. Gauchos have to be looking to get the defense going here. Sonny left wide open. A little long. Good open shot though, wide open which is his specialty because he's a good shooter. Look at the defense now of the team in white here. See if they can stay in front of the penetration. You gotta move your feet on defense. Good play there by Lutheran to get the screen and roll. Dump off for Johnson, he goes up, can't finish. There's Susco, an opportunity for a second chance point, but so rejects. Jump ball, it'll stay with Cal Lou. Scrappy bunch, aren't they? Boy. They, they really work hard to, to uh, penetrate, they work hard on the boards. They're very scrappy, I like the way they play. Only way you're gonna beat a team that's phys physically outmatching you, it's by outdueling them with your physicality. Good take from Johnson, so there for the board. Good help there by Amadou to get that rebound. Double team, double team, double team. Wishart finds the open man, one more. Double team again and 
turnover. That trap is lethal for Cal Lou. And they do a good job without reaching. They don't reach in and foul. They just keep their hands up and they, uh, so there's no minus in it that they won't foul when they double team. That's good coaching. Stanziano, Euro step left. Made very popular by guys like James Harden, Russell Westbrook. Yeah, it's a good offensive maneuver. Full court pressure here now. See if they can get a trap. They're trying to get a trap in the backcourt. Let's see if they can do it. Nope, they got to advance. Gaucho's had somebody open underneath, couldn't get it to him. Very wild pass. Another double team thrown over the top. Torre goes up with it, can't finish it home. The rebound from Griffiths, it's batted away. It'll stay with Kalu as Johnson comes up with it. Go to the basket strong. You gotta score that. Torre has to score that bucket. Shot clock is almost off right now. Shot clock and game clock fairly even. They're gonna try to get a weak side screen here. There it is, weak side screen, didn't work. Screen on the ball. Johnson to finish it. That'll do it for the half. Santa Barbara fine. It always surprises me that why don't they go just back to 20 minutes again because nothing happened. But technically, there's the trap. There's the trap. And uh, it's, it's something they do on out of bounds is on the side. They trap the first pass. Mitchell driving baseline, leaves it for So, he gets it in. So. Recognizing the trap, moving it to the open player is important in playing against that type of defense. That trap is absolutely deadly for Cal Lou. Gaucho's playing man here. A good screen away by, and Johnson trying to get to the hoop. Nice pass off. And Griffiths, a 10-point scorer per game, he gets in on the action today, his first bucket. Caused by the penetration and the help, and then the open man. Mitchell works off the screen. Teardrop, he hit the ground hard. Hope he's okay. Joe Pasternak immediately off the sideline, looking to check on his freshman. Mitchell, quick to his feet. Second personal, first team. Let's see if he got hit in the head on the way down. Let's see. Another look at it here. Penetrate. Oh, he got hit yeah. in the head from behind. Yeah, the looks guy's like trailing. Alonzo got him with a left arm, unintentional. Oh, yeah, of course. Nonetheless, still feels still the hurts. same, right? <laughs> <laughs> so Mitchell has a couple of shots at the line here. Couldn't hit on the first. Uh, little stiff neck. He'll learn, he'll learn. This is basketball in America, and it's physical. Now, Coach, let me put you back into the shoes of Joe Pasternak for a second. You're up three at the half. What are you saying to your team at the break to give them a little bit more confidence moving forward? You, you talk about the trap and how it's hurting them. You talk about the penetration, how it's hurting them, and you talk about Player hurt down at the other end, they didn't. Griffiths converts on the three-point play. It's back to a one-possession basketball game. Little full-court pressure. No trap this time, just a little full-court pressure. Nuisance, I call it. You see how the, uh, the high post is open against that zone? Wisher, three, three ball. Three-point shot is open. From the corner pocket, Unlucky roll, so there to put it back up. Yep. That's how the Gauchos have to win. If they miss a shot, you've got to get the second shot. Nice three-point shot for the answer. As you come across midcourt, if they're going to trap, that's the time to do it when you get the, the midcourt line as your helper. Zone offense. Pass. 
Now Pierre Louis was looking down low for so. He was, the bounds. he was looking to. Uh, it's a dribble pass, so you can't one hand pass it. You have to stop, look, and decide what you're going to do. Read the defense, and that time uh, Pierre Louis did not do that. Wisher wide open from the right side. He drills it from downtown. Defense of the ball is important. That time Amadou helped out on Mitchell, who's guarding Alonzo. Mallory from the corner couldn't hit. Good contest there by Wishart on that play. In deep. So the f a nice finger touch. Nice pass inside by Mitchell, looking for the big guy. Griffiths backing down so, uses his right and gets it to fall. Very nice move, very nice move with his back to the basket. Tommy Griffiths, the sophomore out of San Diego, California, might be picking up that scoring slack with Johnson out. That was a good move there. On the post. Sonny wide open, three ball, he nails it. Good ball movement, and Norris saw the open man and got it to him. Alonzo playing with the ball on a string. And that's smart by Wizard, not trying to steal the ball from Alonzo, just trying to stay in front of him. It's one of the things you told me before the game, you can't overcommit on a guy like Alonzo. Exactly. And that's a good play coming in to get. Johnson back in Johnson's this one. Johnson's back. That's nice to see that he's back in the game. Two to shoot. Alonzo couldn't hit the rim. Here come the Gauchos. Wisher up and under. Kiss off the glass. He gets it to fall. What a take. Smart play by number one, Alonzo. He moved in front of the defender, and the defender made contact. That is Cal West. And of course, he's trying to explain to the official that he moved in front of me. <laughs> There's Sonny, the interception. And a lay in. Gaucho is on the fast break, up now 12. Yeah, a good play by Sonny to read that defense and, and get that ball on the flight. Defensively is where it has to happen. They look for Johnson. He's met by Norris. Good open shot from the corner. Sasko too strong. That was a good play. They got a good shot, just didn't make it. There it is. Nice pass by Mitchell on the dribble, getting to the open side and scoring with his back to basket. I don't think it counted because the foul happened before he caught it. But good play by the guy. And you see that they're looking for Robinson E. Dayhan. E. Dayhan, uh, this is just about the most polished we've seen him in a season of basketball here. His fourth, fifth year with the Gauchos, and he looks so comfortable on the floor as a leader. And he is, and he is a vocal leader. And every day in practice, he's vocal like this. So it's not, it's not just games. He does it every day, consistent. And you can see they're looking for him more frequently in the post, too. Santa Barbara on a 12 to 2 run right now over the last 2.30. 10 to shoot. They're in straight man to man now. Nice pass off. Idehan. Almost saves it, it's just knocked out of bounds. Good hustle play, nonetheless. Yep. That time, Nagel should have shot the ball. He was 6'9 uh, against 6'4, and he had the drive right next to the bucket. He tried to pass. He should have should have shot it. It's called overpassing. <laughs> Sometimes you have to be a little bit selfish to succeed in this game. That's right. Penetration. Dallas Johnson fell away from it, couldn't hit. Mitchell. 
Nice. Sonny pass. leads it. He day head finishes. Good penetration, a jump stop, a fake shot. Nice pass. Easy game when you're fundamental. Pierre Louis back in the lineup. Good to see that Johnson's back. I thought that ankle was worse. Nice block there by. Ide had met him at the three-point line. How about a six-foot, 11 big man who can play along the perimeter? That's good, and, and he got his hands up and contested it and actually blocked it. Cole Anderson in now at the two spot. We call it the off guard, the shooting guard spot. So it's Alonzo at the controls to inbound. Man to man offense against the Gaucho defense, which is straight man. Seven seconds. Lewis nice. foot on the line. Dehan had a drive, fell hard. I think he stumbled on, on maybe turned his ankle. Yeah, that's that's what I was looking at, Coach. The outlet pass should not go to your 6'9 Nagel. It should go to a guard <laughs> so they could push it and get a fast break. Yeah, Nagel no. wasn't even ready for it. No, as he's not supposed to be. Pierre Louis loses it out of bounds. Not a good pass from Nagel. It was too fast and to the outside. Man-to-man -man defense, the little guy, Alonzo. Oh, good, good feed roll. inside, and the finish from Dallas Johnson. Dallas Johnson. Just simple screen and roll. Really smart playing from Alonzo. He's such a good distributor. Nagel wide open from the left wing. Yep, that's an open jump shot, and he's a good shooter. Alonzo on the dribble, trying to beat Anderson off the dribble. Couldn't do it, but leading scorer, Johnson drives. Excellent drive there, excellent drive, too bad. He was looking for Robinson to come block it. <laughs> Sometimes it's just your stature that's intimidating if you're Robinson. And, and that was a good play. I mean, he, he drove the ball to the right spot. That is Devon Lewis. And uh, he got it to the right area. And then, of course, Robinson was standing there. And that's called a little intimidation. Now, this, this full court press is what Cal Lutheran is known for. That's their MO. We haven't seen it a ton today, however. Not as much trapping today. Got to think it's because the guards for the Gauchos can really get it across the court well. Little, the little, and they have good team defense. But the more you move it, the better shots you're going to get on the offensive end. They all, they also take care of the basketball really well. They do. They've only got four turnovers through uh, almost three quarters. Mitchell had to heave the rebound from Anderson. Another opportunity here for the Gauchos. Offensive rebound got the ball back for him. There's the double team, and there's the pass inside layup. So went up through contact and two shots to come. And they foul because they're reaching for the ball at a disadvantage. They're small, but you know, that's how they play. And that's good basketball when you're a small team. Gauchos have to read that trap and get to the open player. So correction with the ball on the ground for There's their foul. The trap again, and a good drive by, well, not a good pass by Torrey, but a good drive. Mitchell falls away and gets it to go. Jump stop and shot that time. Good offensive fundamental by Mitchell. Screen and roll. Alonzo will try the screen and roll again. Here it is, screen and roll. Alonzo reads the defense. Kicks it out, Burridge buries it. He makes a lot of Burridge. things happen, doesn't he? Alonzo. Smart player. Yeah. 
Playmaker, if you will. Yep, exactly. So it's just number seven on the night for Alonzo. Yep. In the afternoon, I should say, Amadou So right there for point number 15 this, this afternoon. Good ball movement gets you good shots. Screen and roll again. Penetrate and kick. Three point shot. That time oh. too strong. Cole Anderson missed the block out on the weak side. And that's why they got the ball back. Four to shoot. Alonzo splits defenders, finds the open man. Yeah, they missed an opportunity there. They, good execution, just couldn't make the shot. Torre steps into a three. Where is he going? Where is he going? Anderson driving. He puts it in. That time, So got stuck on that double team and uh, couldn't drive it. We were fortunate to get that ball out. He's just a good athlete to get it out of there. Penetration again by Alonzo. Pick and roll by Johnson. Johnson nearly gets it taken away. Whistle blown. It's a foul on So. Foul on Anderson, I think. Was it So? So or it was So who was, was whistled it? for it. Okay. So, second personal. Okay. Anderson was right there, got his hand on the ball. He should have his body in front of him, not just his hand. He should move over. That extra step so crucial in stopping the offense. Johnson on the inbound. He's working on Nagel with the right. Can't get it to fall. Good defense that time by Nagel. Got his hands up and walled up, as we call it. Wish All the way to the bucket. No, nope, no shot. Not a good shot. Penetration and kick for an easy shot. They push it up for Pierre Louis, who slows tempo. Trap, move it, should get a layup. So with the right. Sonny. Got your foul for three to Jory Sonny, second personal, 14 foul. And Johnson can't rattle home the three point play. Surprising his free throw percentage isn't better. Shooting 65. Trap. Read the trap, move to the weak side layup. There Wide open, Pierre Louis, he's able to get it to go. It's pretty simple when you execute properly. It's the points in the paint. Gout shows 50 points in the paint this afternoon. Feed the post and try and get a shot. Nope. So with the rejection. He was out. He was out. So with the rejection. Now So is playing behind this guy because he's shorter, and uh, you know he's he's not trying to get in foul trouble. He's just playing behind him and then muscling up on him when he gets it. Smart by uh, Amadou So. No trap this time. They've trapped a little bit and it's hurt them because the Gauchos are reading it and getting the ball to the weak side. Nice pass. Whoops. Norris went up with it, but he gets his pocket picked. I don't think Norris has scored yet tonight, has he? No, he got those dunk. He got that dunk in there deep. Yeah. They work it around the horn, but can't really work it inside. Nice defense that time by Mitchell. That's a get, three from a Lee. Anyway. He nails it. Charlie Lee is a sniper from deep. He sure is. That's a good shot. He's made a couple of those tonight, today. Lee is now three for three from deep land. And because the trap isn't working, the coach has come away from the trap. Sawney to answer. White's team make the 14 point comeback. It's going to take a lot here. The Gauchos looking to extend the lead. Wide Pierre open Louis drive. Wide open with drive. With the left, he banks it in. Very nice. Good drive. Use of his quickness. Johnson lets it fly.
Too yep. much contact in the post. Yeah, they, 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 at the end of the game now, you're shortening the game. You've only got six and a half minutes left. They've got to be a little more physical. So uh, you've got to affect them to foul a little bit more, trying to get position and get the ball. Mason Johnson now with four personal fouls. He's their leading scorer in danger of fouling out here. He's at a disadvantage trying to guard a 6'9 guy, and he's only 6'3". Mitchell. Nice pass, nice pass, and another foul. That's all they can do. Mitchell penetrates. He drags uh, the man over, and Norris Norris gets to the bucket. Simple game if you execute properly. So Norris with two shots. Oh, check that a one and one opportunity here. As Alonzo back onto the floor for Calu, Sekou Torre for Santa Barbara. Seiko is uh, what we call a three-man, uh, the wing wing type forward, um, who has been here three or four years. He knows the offense, and, and I think Coach is trying to get him to more playing time in the preseason to see how their rotations are going to be in conference play when they start in uh, January down at the uh, UC San Diego. Similar story, Torre and Jay Nagel. And for the first time today, we see Ariel Bland enter the basketball game. Yep, Bland is an uh, exciting new player. He's uh, six foot seven or eight and very quick. I think he's gonna be a good player for the future of the Gaucho program. A freshman out of Chicago, Illinois. He's only played in two contests so far this season. Yeah, I thought they were going to red shirt him, but I guess I guess not. They're going to give him this year of experience. This is a interesting now with uh, uh, Edahan and Bland in together. Mason Johnson driving against Bland, falls away from it, and it's off the iron. And Ariel Bland did contest that very well. All right, they're back. Good penetration. Good stop there by Josh that time. Wishart works it inside. Nice pass, nice in. And Bland there for the finish. Oh, screen and roll. Uh, that. And a roll out of bounds, but it'll stay with Cal Luther. That was a quick screen and roll from the wing. And uh, Alonzo created that open shot for the big man. He just dropped it. Johnson. Ariel is a quick defender. And he day had meets him at the hoop and sends it back for the deny. He got a little help from the big man. Wishart working it inside for he day had. The ball is lost. Not a good pass out of that post position that time. Nice Griffiths pass. Griffiths down, down Broadway. He's able to get it to fall. Griffiths. Griffiths has the size to keep up with the big men for Santa Barbara. We haven't seen him too much on the defensive end, however. That's right. That's that's Wissert that time dribbling the ball in front of the little guy like he did to him earlier in the game. Open three-pointer. Open three-pointer. Didn't draw iron. Alonzo off the mark. Johnson saves it. Charlie Lee down Broadway. Couldn't get it to go. Another offensive board. That's his specialty. Here comes Cole Anderson barreling down the lane. Kind of ragged here for the Gauchos. Oh, nice drive there. Alonzo dumps Good it off pass. for Johnson, but the charge today. Here comes the trap. 
They're going to try to get it just over midcourt. There it is. Oh. Mitchell tries to leave oh. it for Bland. Quick hands from Alonzo. Not a good play by Mitchell. A, a dribble pass is not what you need in that situation. A drive from Johnson off left. Double team. Terminate your dribble. Anderson lets it fly. Bland there for the offensive rebound. That's the 17th of the night for the Gauchos. Another chance from Anderson. Three ball corner pocket. He drills it. Two freshmen playing together at the one and two spots for the Gauchos. Man-to-man -man defense, oops. Senku Torre with the rejection. Because he's five inches taller than the other guy. You know, Alonzo's one of those players, yes, he might be a little smaller in stature, but he uses his size to his advantage. He's strong, so he's strong for his size. Bland goes up strong and gets it to go. He has good hands. In other words, you throw it to him, he's gonna catch it. Three ball. That's yep. Grande who hits. Grande. Four guys committed in the backcourt, but they back off. They don't trap back there. Anderson from downtown. It's off mark. Can you tell that Anderson made a lot of threes in high school? He shoots it <laughs> like he's got the confidence yes. of a long time scorer. I mean, he's really got a sweet stroke too. No question, he's gonna be a good one. He can really shoot. You can see the freshmen on this team. Typically the freshmen aren't getting this much action early on in the year, but A.J. Mitchell and you see Cole Anderson, the future is bright. Yes. Good ball movement by Cal Luther. Oh. Good play by, nice pass. Anderson finishes. Anderson. We got three freshmen. Oops. Offensive foul. Yep. Yakov Kukic gets his hand in the passing lane. He's alone and slams it home. Good interception, good interception, and a good bucket. Another one. A.J. Mitchell now on the break, leaves it for Anderson, and the layup with Gage Gomez and Max Sheldon. This is a fun unit is on the floor for Santa Barbara. They're the, uh, the squad that plays against the, the, the starters in practice. Great shot there from Cal Lu. Every day these guys play hard in practice, every day, and it's nice to see them get in into the game and get some reward by playing in a game. Three seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Wide open bland, he flushes it home. This one's all but over, folks. A nice shot from Lewis, but the game has come to a close. Santa Barbara gets the